Which brings us to our next point. Now, we, we as Americans need to stand up for our entire country, not just a part of it, our entire country. So every, every time I talk about getting veterans out there in the community and having them help their community, it's not because I don't agree with that. I agree with that 100% because our veterans, they have so much more to offer. Than so many other people do because they know what it's like to be a team player. They know what it's like to take care of each other. Yeah, some of those fuckers can be real high school, but when it comes down to getting a job done, they get it done. All right, and uh, <clears throat> and I'm telling you, these big money people—they're throwing money at places like Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and. Uh, they're moving, they want to move all kinds of folks from Syria into the United States knowing that they were probably going to be terrorists. You know why? Because they want to create the drama. Because that, you're not looking at them at that point. You're looking at somebody else's bullshit and what they're doing. And you're getting all bent out of shape over it. Well, yeah, I don't freaking like those fuckers either. But they're not being... They're being paid to do this stuff. We have a real problem in the United States that it's all about greed and power. I'm all about being wealthy. Do not get me wrong. I want to live the American dream. Okay? I want to live it. Got it? Good. Because I have nothing against it. But if you're selling your soul to live the American dream, karma's a bitch. I must tell you, karma's a bitch. Oh, Lord. But anyway, here's uh, here's Mr. Alex Jones talking about the deep state panic. Just Friday, we said that we talked to the president. Roger did. Another one of my sources did, very close to me. Not going to get into that source. Who talked to the president Friday? Uh, and the president was strongly looking at it and said, barring any new information from Pompeo, the CIA director, uh, that he's going to release it. And that's what Roger said on Friday. It's what I said my source said. And you notice on Saturday morning, the president tweeted, that barring any new information, then he was going to release the information next Friday. Because the president can block the release of it. And Obama and George Bush did block the last two times they were going to release it. And boy, did they have to eat crow now. If you read the New York Times, the Washington Post, the LA Times, the Chicago Tribune, it says that, okay, Roger Stone and Alex Jones broke the information on Friday. Now, that same day, they all reported that we had made it up they said, fake news, Alex Jones had Roger Stone on, and they claim they talked to the president. And they, well, we've talked to our sources, and it's not going to be released. Yeah, because Pompeo does a pretty good job overall. I actually like a lot of what he's doing, um, focusing, spying on you know foreign enemies, off the American people, and not trying to use the CIA as a global tool to deindustrialize the nation. But Pompeo has been fighting with the president not to release it, and thought he had the ear of the president, but as of now, it's going to be released, and who knows what's going to be in there. Some little birds have looked over it and, and, and know what the body of it is, and a lot of it is the information given to the Warren Commission uh, back in the 60s and the Congressional Commission in the 70s. Now, the Congressional Commission you never hear about, but it's the one that found that more than one gunman did kill the president, and that he was killed in a conspiracy, probably uh, organized by the CIA. Well, don't you wish Jim Mars, the professor, just died a few months ago, was, was still here, first guy to ever teach a college course on JFK assassination. He was a Fort Worth Star Telegram reporter. When that happened, he was older than he looked. He was a nice little garden gnome, good friend of mine. I was literally about to call him up that week, get him back on the show. I'm like, where's Jim been? He usually calls him once on the show. I was telling my producers, let's get him on the next month. Boom. I went home that day, George Norrie called me and said, don't say this yet, I just got calls from his family. He just died minutes ago. Anyways, good old Jim. 
And now he's looking down from heaven. He knew it was a spiritual thing to this whole deal. He knew Jack Ruby. He used to go to the same bar. Now back then, it was classy. It was burlesque, but there was only one in Dallas. And uh, he was 21, already a reporter on the crime crime beat. And uh, new old Jack Ruby. What a what what a storyteller. He could he could he could certainly uh, certainly break down some things. But I am digressing. Get into old yarns here. It's twilight zone to imagine, though, that I, in 2017, would have a direct conduit to the president and that we would be breaking that the JFK files are about to come out. So we have a pretty good idea of what's in those files, and we're going to tell you coming up at the start of the next hour. Now, even if I had sources, I wouldn't tell you I got it from classified sources. i just say I have a pretty good idea what is going to be in those files next Friday. So I'm going to stop right there. Now, a bunch of publications, including BBC, there's an article up on Infowars.com about this, made jokes about the president. BBC journalist defends tweet about Trump motorcade after JFK doc announcements. After announcing the release of documents of JFK assassination, President Trump goes on an uneventful motor ride. So they're just making their jokes about him being suicided or, or, or assassinated, Arkansas. Let's play a clip of off the rails, I don't know who's more senile and batty, um, is, it, is it somebody like the Democrat leader in the House, Nancy Pelosi, or is it is it Maxine Waters? You know, this other congresswoman, Frederica Williams, she says, don't call me stupid, that's racist. Well, lady, you are stupid, and you're a jerk, and you're a creep, and you lied about what was in the phone call, or you lied about listening in, now it turns out you were there. And you, again, you're all hat no cap. I don't care if you're black or white. You're a bunch of crazy old women. We're tired of it. Now she demands an apology from Kelly for character assassination. She's wearing that stupid cowboy hat. I think it's dumb with men that own cattle ranches of 20,000 head wear cowboy hats on TV. Cowboy hats are out the sun, woman. Under TV wearing a cowboy hat, and I got cows. And I got a ranch. I got a ranch that we got from the Mexicans. We paid for it. You got one of those? Stop wearing a cowboy hat. Stop it. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and uh, go to a clip of uh, Off the Rails Maxine Waters saying she's... Oh, and by the way, YouTube's been taking this video down everywhere. Not claiming even copyright. They just don't want you to see her unhinged. Here it is. Wow. What a moving evening this is. I am sitting here, listening, watching, absorbing, thinking about Ali, even though I never met him. And with this kind of inspiration, I will go and take Trump out tonight. I will go and take him out tonight. That's definitely the tenor, you know, hashtag not Republicans. Now, then they, they claim we're the ones that are calling for violence. Let's go ahead now. The clear shades of violence there. Let's play Joe Rogan. I'm uh, making his point that he thinks Trump's smart to do this, and I agree. Here it is. You hear that Donald Trump's going to open up the JFK dump? How about that? All the dump of documents from the JFK that had been sealed up by all the other presidents, like the JFK assassination investigation, they, they sealed some documents up because they're too sensitive. I know. Like, whatever well, those documents are in. they shred those documents? How I don't know. Why would damning documents be, it exists. These are people from 1962. Also, Trump for sure posts up something else in this. Huh? Well, hey, this is not a bad thing to focus on. Ah, if there's he, so many other things we can Yeah, about here. Well, for sure. But first of all, no one really can be president. Let's be honest. There's not a single person that can focus on the economy and health care and international relations well, and the environment. And, like, there's no way. You've got the taxes up. There's not enough time in the world to focus on any of those things. Agree. So what we should focus on, Donald Trump should focus on the Vegas shooting. And he had to say good about it. That's all right. You know what I mean? Well, he probably got a good point. I think, think going on. I, but here's the thing about this, this Kennedy assassination. One of the reasons why, if I was him, I would focus on the Kennedy assassination is they might fucking kill him. Exactly. They might fucking kill him. Because guess what? They don't like that he won't play ball with all these very, very wealthy people. And yes, Trump is wealthy, but you know what? Trump's also like, I got money. I can do whatever the fuck I want, whenever the fuck I want to do it. He doesn't even collect a paycheck. He donates that shit. 
So guess what? Isn't that the coolest? This president is ready to put out the information that we really, really need to see. Hey, uh, I want you guys to listen to some Chandelier by Chelsea. She's awesome. She can sing. Girl can sing. Just give it a minute because obviously my computer's running slow today. I have a slow connection today. My bad, homie. Here comes. Okay, so I, I gotta tell you, that's an awesome song. Uh, she's an amazing vocalist. I can't, 